Hello, beautiful people of God. How are you all doing today? I believe God that everyone is doing great. Hallelujah. Today's video, we want to talk about the news that is making around social media that the church killed Minister Sami Okoso. And that is what I want to talk about. You know, when I talk about the church, I'm talking about the church of Jesus Christ, which is the body of Christ. And uh, the people that are saying this is the people that I really want to ask questions. You know, Pastor Abel Damina came out recently and he was talking, you know, it is the church that wounded, the wounded, that killed, uh, you know, Sami Okoso and all that. I thought I have heard it all and before I know it, this other pastor, Pastor Igila Joshua, started his own. I'm going to drop the video, the clip here, so that you hear from him, so that you will not look as if I'm making it all. But the reason I'm making this video is just to ask a question to all these pastors that are talking right now. Because when that of Osinachi happened, they started, it is the church, it is the church. And all these people talking about this, it is the church. Majority of them, saw that that lady was going through her. I mean, the, the family members, the close friends of Osinachi, and even the, those musicians, they saw everything. And they began to say it after he has died. You see, this medicine after death is what me, I am against. If you know what right to do, why don't you do it? At least you should stand out. You should do something differently as for somebody that knows what to do. Not after that thing has happened and you are now beginning to point accusing finger as if you are not part of the church. By the way, Joshua Iginla, you are a leader. You are a pastor with a huge congregation. If you have contributed your own quota, and Abel Damina contributed his own quota. Or another person that they say is talking, I've not heard about that one. I've not listened to the, him. That's why I don't want to mention it here. And all of you pastors that is talking now, it is a, a church, it is a church. If all of you that know how to handle situations like this, and rallied around him, and do things differently, I think by now, his stories will be a different thing instead of what we are hearing now. It is the pastors, the pastors, the leaders, according to you. Who are you? Are you not a pastor? Are you not a leader? That is the question I'm asking. Is it me and the uh, other people that are congregation members that we, we that we should rally run him? You are the ones that knows what to do to support him, to help him in that his low estate. No, you didn't do it. Only for you to come out and begin to shout, it is the church, it is the church. Trying to exonerate yourself. And as far as I'm concerned, claiming to, to be Mr. Perfect and Mr. Know It All. That knowledge you have that did not benefit this brother is of no use right now. It's of no use. Maybe paraventure, when situations arise again in the future, you people will know how to make better use of this knowledge that you are sharing up and down today. Because for Samuel Poso and the family, it doesn't make sense anymore. It doesn't make sense anymore. Yes, it doesn't make sense anymore. So why are you calling it is the church? It's the body of Christ that killed him and this and that. He came out and, uh, and, and claimed that what the lady, the American lady said about him is true. And he asked for forgiveness from two particular people that he knows that he offended. God accord him and give him the grace. The wife that he promised to be faithful to. And the body of Christ that gave him the platform of which he thrived. So, and he declared there and then that he will withdraw from ministrations so that he will seek the face of God. Which, is, which everyone applauded him. 
And recently we find out that he has come out. So how did the church kill him? If he had hypertension that is not well managed, does it mean that it's the church that killed him? Does it mean that it's the body of Christ that killed him? Pastor, Pastor Igila, that is the question I'm asking you right now. It does it mean that it's the church that killed him? Even if this hypertension that he had was not well managed, is it the fault of the church? Please let us stop this. The body of Christ is going through a lot right now. So you as a pastor or pastors or ministers of the gospel come, come in to point accusing finger as if this um, you know, entity we are talking about as the body of Christ is a, is, a, is a tree or whatever. It's a human being and it is you people that are the leaders in the body of Christ that you should be talking to. You know where you meet yourselves. And tell yourselves where what you have been doing wrong. And stop talking, calling the church, it is the church. Pointing accusing finger. Eh? Playing blame game. Doesn't, it has not helped us in the body of Christ. And it will not help us. So you guys should stop. And that is the reason for this video. Guys, I want you to listen to him. And hear him. That of Eben. I posted it also. The link is there in the, in the description box below. Hear what these people are doing right now. Eh? With the death of this young man. As far as I'm concerned, that's medicine after death. So I will drop it here and I will come back. And please, what do you think? Are they supposed to be playing this game they are playing now? This is playing game. Or they should sit down and go and learn how to get it right. I mean the leaders in the body of Christ. What's your opinion? Put it in the comment section below. And I'm going to see you in my next one. The other day we had a powerful gospel musician who came out and confessed about how many months ago of his weakness. Some body of Christ supported him and others do what? They lambasted him. What is happening in Nigeria? Our wounded warriors are wounded the more. Today, I learned he has gone to some, is it Sami Samuel Opos? He has gone to be with the Lord. Those who know how to condemn, Shabi has gone to be with the Lord. Stay, whether you will not go one day. It is only in my country that when somebody confesses sin and forsake it, we judge him for confessing. Why the God he confessed to us forgiving him? Some ministers remove him from their poster, remove him from their billboard, disconnected him. I don't know why he's slum, I don't know the cause, but I know when ministers are wounded and we wound them, they won't last. To get to the white throne judgment I can't wait to see him on the last day you know when we get to heaven at the marriage supper at the center at the last assembly no more party no more I am waiting to get there. Those who know how to criticize and judge other men of God. I want to be there. I want to see how you will be so surprised that the one you have condemned enters heaven. Then I will now tell you, boy, I'm here.